Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know. And welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures. I know I did a video like this a couple months ago, but my editing has completely changed and I have finally figured out like the best and easiest way to edit that makes pictures look professional. It gives you a great feed on Instagram. And it's honestly super easy, especially because me and Lake just came out with presets. So honestly, for you guys, editing is literally as easy as one click now, which is how easy it is for me. And I'm gonna show you in this video, seriously how easy it is to transform a picture from like, not good to like, wow, definitely Instagram worthy. So, all the information about the presets will be linked down below. We are selling five different presets, all with five completely different looks for $25, which is actually really, really cheap. I know for some of you that you don't want to spend money on editing pictures, but I'm hoping after I show you how easy it makes editing that hopefully it'll change your mind. It's really cheap compared to what other people are selling presets for, and the fact that you get five completely different looks for $25, I think is... A really good deal also keep your eye out on my Instagram because we're going to be doing discount codes and like exclusive promotions pretty soon for those so get ready for those I picked out a few pictures that I'm gonna be editing with the presets and I'm gonna show you all about the presets how they look on different types of pictures how, literally how easy it is to edit and some adjustments that need to be made based on lighting, color, like location of the picture because not every preset is gonna work absolutely perfect for every picture, but editing through them is honestly so, so easy. So, I'm gonna put my phone screen right there. Starting off, I only use one editing app now and that's Lightroom, which is a free mobile app. So, 10 out of 10 recommend. I used to use Visco. I used to use like almost every photo editing app. I swear I used to use Visco, Snapseed, Facetune. But all of those apps kind of like down the quality of the picture after you edit on them. So in Lightroom, if anything, makes the quality better. So I recommend Lightroom 100%. I know a lot of people use Visco. I used to use Visco. But personally, it just doesn't make your pictures look as good. So if you are wanting to take your pictures to like the next level, make your Instagram look way more professional, and just edit your pictures better, I 100% recommend using Lightroom. I made a separate album in Lightroom just for this video and I selected like a few pictures that will go good with each preset to show you how but first I want to just show you how the presets look when you download them so when you go to the website that sells the presets I wrote out like step-by-step -step instructions completely how to download them but if you still get confused you can just email me my emails in the description of the presets and I'll try my best to figure it out so we have five different presets there's this one, which is rose gold, which this is with the preset on, and when I tap it, that's the original photo. This one is honestly one of my favorite. I'm going to go through and show you what the feed looks like with all these presets on a whole bunch of different pictures. And the feed of rose gold looks so good. Unfortunately, I have the blue feed going on, so rose gold doesn't go perfect with that. But this is what rose gold looks like with every single picture edited with the preset. I think it just blends so nicely and if, as you can see, like the pictures are completely different. There's like a mirror picture, a beach picture, indoor pictures, sunset pictures, and they all just go so well. So I really recommend this one. It's definitely one of my favorites. Then the next preset is Beach Please, which as you can see, totally just brings out the blues, brings out the yellows, and just makes the picture look a lot more vibrant. And this is what Beach Please looks like on a bunch of different pictures. Majority of these ones are outside just because it definitely highlights the blues. But unfortunately, I take most of my pictures outside because I know that I need blue for my feed. So I don't have many pictures to show without being like super bright. This one probably does it the most because I was literally at home in the snow. There was just a blue house. That's how I got it to match my feed but it totally just brings out the colors, brightens up everything, and I do really like that one. I use that one a lot. That's one of my, that's probably like my second most used. Then the next one, which is definitely my most used one, it's the one that goes on most of my pictures for my feed, is called Icy Blue. 
And as you can see, even just in the color of the font, it brings it from a very dull, dark blue to a really bright and pretty blue. It brings out all the colors, makes it a lot brighter, a lot more saturated, and yeah, that's definitely my favorite. So this is what Icy Blue looks like on a bunch of different pictures. And the next one we have is Vintage. This one is definitely different than the others. It adds a little bit of grain to the picture. It dulls down a lot of the colors except the blues and the yellows, but even then they're very flat and not very saturated. This is what the feed of Vintage would look like. As you can see again, all these pictures are very different. I have a lot of indoor ones in this one, some outdoor, and it just definitely dulls the color and gives it more of a, like a dark mood to it. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe it, but as you can see, it looks like that. <laughs> it's not as bright and vibrant because I know like my style of pictures isn't for everyone. So we try to come up with a, like a whole bunch of different styles so that everyone can benefit from the presets. And the last preset is called Sun Baby. This one was inspired by Lake because we took these pictures, which as you can see from the before, of the sunset on Miami Beach and I like had such a hard time trying to save the picture and like make it look good and he edited it to be very orange and blue and I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks so good. This one is especially good for low light, sunset, and this is what the feed would look like which is just super vibrant, very blue, orange, just brings out all the colors. I really enjoy this one. It just kind of makes me happy and the pictures blend really really well with this one so those are what all the presets look like and I'm going to show you how to put them on a picture and how to just make little adjustments on every picture depending on what the picture needs if that makes sense so to start off I have this one now I'm going to go through and show you what all the different presets look like on it just so you can see there's beach please icy blue rose gold and vin vintage and sun baby now on this one my favorite is rose gold i just think the subtle like pink tones with the blue looks so so good and now if i were to post this one to edit all i would do is probably up the highlights a little bit more just because of the sun going through um maybe mess with the saturation just a little bit just bring it back up and honestly that's probably all i would do there's the before and the after and i think that looks really good i love rose gold because you don't need to make a lot of adjustments with it and it blends so nicely with each other so that's the first one now this one is an outdoor picture but it's not by the beach so the colors aren't too vibrant it's a little dull but there is the yellow in my bathing suit and the blue in the background that I like to bring out. So I'm going to go through all of them so you can see the difference. There's Beach Please. Yellow's a little dull. Icy Blue just makes it the blue way more of a baby blue. And it exposes the picture more because it's really good on pictures in low lighting. Then Rose Gold, Sun Baby, and Vintage. For this one, I really like Sun Baby because it brings out the yellow really well. It kind of turns it into more of like a sunflowery orange color. And I really like how it makes the blues look. And for this one, honestly, I wouldn't make any adjustments. And there is the before and the after of Sun Baby. Next picture, okay, I wanted to include this because these presets, I wanted to show that they didn't just work on outdoor blue pictures because that's most of my pictures. But these presets work so good on mirror pictures. It's like my favorite thing to do whenever I'm taking an outfit picture. It is literally like no adjustments, one click, and the mirror picture looks so good and professional. So with this one, I'm going to go down the presets. Here's Beach Please. It makes it a little orangey. Icy Blue, which is my favorite for mirror pictures. That's one I'm going to end up choosing, but I just want to show you the rest. There's Rose Gold, Sun Baby, and Vintage. So for this one, I'm going to choose Icy Blue. I just think it looks so good literally no adjustments there's before and after i think it just makes the lighting look so good it brings out the whites and yeah I, this is what i use for every mirror picture when i post it on my instagram story and the next one i had to put a cheer picture in here to show you people that again works for everything so for this one there's beach please honestly that one looks beautiful i really like that one there's icy blue again looks really good just gives you a different look it dolls out the background more and just brightens up the picture there's rose gold and there's vintage i like the way the vintage one oh and sun baby there's that one i forgot to click that one there's sun baby and vintage i do like the way vintage looks on this one just because of the type of the picture in the background 
just reminds me of like a vintage picture but I do want to bring the saturation of the yellows back because they are a little illuminated and a little dull so I wanted to bring those back and then in general I'm just going to turn up the saturation and yeah I really like that so there's the before and the after of vintage I think it just gives it a really cool look to it this one okay I just want to say that I had to take this for a brand deal the other day so you're going to see it on my Instagram soon so make sure you're following me on Instagram and I literally put the preset on this and my jaw dropped because I was amazed at how easy it was to edit in literally one click. So I'm going to show you now seriously how easy it is to edit pictures. So for this one, I use Icy Blue and just look at this. Literally no adjustments. Are you kidding me? That went from this, which was very dull, dark. It was a cloudy day, so there was like no sunshine, no lighting very just like desaturated colors to that one click literally one click i'm not making any adjustments to that i think it looks so good i'm telling you guys it seriously is this easy i used to spend literally 20 minutes on every picture to edit i now spend about 20 seconds and it is the greatest thing ever these presets saved my life so i hope they can help you guys out too those are the end of the pictures that i had chosen but i want to show you guys how i would take one and choose like which filter to edit with. All right, so BRB. And I'm back. I wanna thank Sophie Jules for working with me again. I am honored to be working with them again. I'm gonna have all their information linked down below so you guys can check it out. For our collaboration, I have to post a picture on my Instagram story, so I have to take a flat light picture. So I figured, what a better way to take the flat light picture than to show you guys how I would edit it. So, I have a whole bunch of Valentine's Day gifts from them for Lake. to mention that I have a coupon code for you guys so the coupon code is going to be on the screen and it'll also be linked in the description below so you guys can get a little discount. Okay so I finally got the picture taken and now I'm going to edit it. So I imported it to Lightroom. Here's the picture. Nothing special as you can see. So I'm going to try to go through the presets, see which one looks the best. That one's good. Makes my hand look a little orange. I like that. Ooh, I really like rose gold. <laughs> Not so much. Turns the rose a little orange. And I like vintage. I think I like rose gold the best. So with the presets and no edits, that's before and that's after. But I am going to make a couple edits. I do want to up the saturation a little bit. Highlights down some. I don't like the color orange of my hand, so I'm gonna mess with that a little. Oh, no, not a little bit there. All right, and I think that's it. So that's the before, and that's the after. Also, just look how cute all the little jewelry in the phone case is. I just, I can't get over how cute the little rose box is. I think that is the coolest thing ever. I wanna thank Sophie Jewels for working with me again. Again, everything's linked down below. Go check them out. Seriously, their Valentine's Day stuff is the absolute cutest. I recommend it 100%. Like, I hope you like it. Um, I didn't even get to show you yet, but it's in this video, so <laughs> here's your Valentine's Day presents. Well, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit about how I edit my pictures. I am not just saying this because they're my presets, but I really do recommend them. They seriously take editing from like 20 minutes a picture to 20 seconds a picture and it is so easy and it makes your feed look good without any work. Just 10 out of 10 recommend if you do want to support us. Again, the link will be down below. Make sure you follow me on social media. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I promise not all videos are this boring or informative. I do fun videos, so you should subscribe and check them out. And give this video a like, comment more videos you want to see. Follow me on social media, turn your post notifications on and i'll see you in the next video